With prices at the pump heading up, President Bush has renewed his call for hydrogen-powered cars. We're providing $1.2 billion over five years to help move hydrogen-powered cars from the research lab to the dealership lot. Cars running on hydrogen don't pollute the air. They give off water as a byproduct. That's led to events like this, with California's Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger driving a hydrogen-powered SUV and proclaiming a future hydrogen highway. While the words are optimistic, scientists know there are real challenges. One is the very nature of hydrogen. Former director of the Department of Energy's Office of Science, MIT professor Mildred Dresselhaus says, hydrogen takes up a lot of space. The reason is that the two hydrogen atoms and the hydrogen molecule are really quite far apart. Meaning either a much bigger fuel tank or more refueling stops. That is considered a showstopper right now. However, there are ideas um, through nanoscience and technology to get around this. Nanotechnologists, scientists who deal with things at the atomic level, hope to get hydrogen to take up less space by combining it with other compounds. Then we can have a much larger amount of hydrogen per unit volume than we have with just liquid hydrogen. Then they must figure out how to make that compound let go of the hydrogen so the fuel cell can use it to make electricity to power the car. Also, scientists must find a way to produce hydrogen without polluting, and they must do all this at prices that can compete with gasoline.